Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses playthrough. The last two episodes were pretty hectic, going through two different paralogues. So today's episode is going to be a little less battle intensive. We are going to start off with a quest, but these quests do tend to take not as long. So let's get into this quest. Something to prove. In this quest, we are doing a mock battle against a, a different house. I believe it was... I don't know. I don't even want to attempt to pronounce it. But that is where we are at. So let's just get our people chosen once more. Uh, I do like Shamir on the back end just to uh, make thing make sure things are going good. As for the map, it looks like it's pretty standard. I think everyone is on the right side. Yeah. Oh, before we get into that, don't forget to go to the battalion. Just make sure everyone is all topped off. Now, let's get into this battle. And we're going to make this pretty quick. Because, um, yeah, they're all... Well, they're about level 14. Let's see how much damage they would do to Dorothea here. They would do a decent chunk. So, we are going to start by... Stay focused. Mm, who needs to level up? Just Dorothea. So we're going to stick her in the forest and hope for the best. One person attacking. Does end up missing, which is good. Another person. They both miss. It's fantastic. Oh, one person going after Anna. Anna not Karen though, doing really good. Okay. I think we need her to get axes up. Oh, she's so close to having axes up as well. So let's put her into the battle. How many do we need? That's it. All right, cool. We got to B. So hopefully we can turn her into a wyvern rider after this is all said and done. Alright, we'll move Bernadetta up. She's already good. Okay, we have a potential to... Never mind, she activates the crest. Everything is A-OK. -okay. We're going to stick Byleth here to give Dorothea some more experience. And... We are just going to hit with a Tempest Lance. You were wide open. Okay. And with that out of the way... I will prevail. Sure thing. Yeah, we'll just let Dorothea move up a little bit more. Okay, so we'll Tempest Lanced again here. We do take 14 damage. However, the Battalion does level up. That is good. I will get um, nope, we want to heal. We will heal Dorothea up. Perfect. Same thing with Ferdinand, except we are going to go heal Anna. I do want Bernadetta to master some more magic. Oh, the gun. She already did have a class raise, so maybe we should hold off on her. Yeah, instead we're going to actually have Yuri. Eh. Now, nah, we'll send Lysithia up. Get the axes raised just a bit more. 
Ooh, a rusted sword. Okay. And slowly... Well, let's quickly move everyone up. I don't think the enemy will be able to attack this next turn. I don't think they'll be able to attack anybody. So we will just skip it. Yeah. Uh, nah, they're all moving. So we are going to skip their turn since they cannot attack. So we will mount up here. 26 damage, not enough to kill. As long as we don't get a crit, we shouldn't kill either. Okay. We're good, so we can give this kill to Dorothea. Perfect. Put the trade secret away. I think we can try and move Petra up. We will take out this guy here. Each battle, a chance to grow. We'll just make it quick. Make it quick and painless. Yeah, we'll actually get Dorothea to go up and take that experience. That should be hopefully close enough to leveling her up. All right, so we'll end our turn there. Yeah, nothing's happening. Okay. Okay, maybe it won't be enough to level her up. Oh, maybe? Oh, we could have... Let's do that instead. Instead of... Because I forgot, she can move after she fights. Ah, oh, but the steel lance is too heavy. Perhaps we can give her a better... Yeah, let's try and give her a better... or an iron lance. That should do the trick. We'll wait here. We shall trade the iron lance. And that's lighter. It still doesn't kill. That's unfortunate. But at least with Byleth here, we gain a little more experience. I think it would have been better not to do what we just did. Oh well. I will prevail. Looks like a lot of them are going to be going Let's after see. her anyway. Alright, so we will just end the turn there. Ooh, 13. That hurts a little bit. Okay, that 13 misses. I think we should be in the clear in terms of damage. Yeah, this guy can't move, so I don't know if any of them can attack me now. Oh, the bow. Oh, no. I didn't take into consideration the bow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Oops. I think we're going to just go with the original play. That's my cue. And we are going to dismount. Yeah. We'll dismount Levin Sword. I will prevail. Uh, equip the fire. Let's get to it. Okay. And then slowly move everyone else up. I think that's the first we touched Ferdinand, this battle. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now she shouldn't die, so we're going to go ahead and skip the rest of this turn. Ooh, she lives with a sliver. And ends up taking out the other guy. Hmm... We're going to heal Dorothea up. Uh, and then I want Petra to heal her up as well. That's my cue. 
There we go. All roses have thorns. And then we will heal Dorothea up once more. Again, this is going to be the Dorothea game. Except someone attacked Edelgard and Dorothea. There we go. Level 20. She is primed and ready to level up. Now, who do we want the last kill on? I think we'll do Petra. We won't do Petra. I think we'll do Yuri. If Yuri can hit both of these attacks, which he can, that is going to do it for the quest. Fantastic. All right. Dorothea, the MVP. Of course, we all know that. We had her do all of the damage. Go ahead and save our game here. And while this loads up, do not forget to go down, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, leave a like, comment, and I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I am. Let me know what you would like to see next, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So with all that done, we get to instruct, and I think we have some instruct we can do since Byleth... Ooh, okay. Some of a, uh, some of it. We'll let Ferdinand train up a little bit. All right, there we go. Everyone else seems to be on like a one. Yeah, well, eh, we'll do it anyway. It's it's a little bit of training. Oh. There we go. Wow, so th I think that's the first we've ever seen a fail. Like that, that was, whew, okay. Mm. So we have in the white magic. Oh, wow, two bads in a row. She did not like the critique. So she's a console. Lysithia over here. How's her flying? Wow. Okay. So she does like critiquing. That one's good. I think it's because they were at low motivation. I think that's why we're getting all the bads now. But that's okay. Yeah. Look at that. All the bads. We'll console. Nope. Okay. Well, that's going to do that. That was bad. That, that, that was really bad. Uh, okay, Bernadetta, Bernadetta. We'll do Reason and Faith. We'll just bring it back to that. Petra, same thing. Reason and Faith, I don't see why not. Lysithia. We'll go back to Axe and Flying. Leone, Axe is good. White magic. So we just need faith magic on the... Uh, faith and sword will do. I think we need them both. Yuri, on the other hand, we need him to just focus on faith. Everything else is looking good. We shall begin our lecture. Uh, no. Sorry, Anna, you are going to do what I say. All right, anything fun going on during the week? We do have something. Holy Kingdom of Fargus founding days today. Yeah, we'll take part in the festivities. I don't see why not. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great delicious. Oh, perfect. Okay. So they're now max motivation, which allows me to do more on the exploration day. There. Awesome. So far, so good. Okay, faith leveled up. Awesome. Things are looking pretty good. What do we have going on here? Oh, it's Marianne's birthday. We'll give her some flowers. Okay. Thank you. We did it. And now we have allies who have Oh, okay. The Abyssium exam pass. 
So we are going to try and make Bylip an assassin. Oh, we have a very, we have 45% chance. We only have one advanced seal. I believe we can get it this time. That belief was for nothing. I'm not setting a very good example. No, you are not. Okay, uh, I need to purchase some advanced certificates. Advanced seals. Uh, uh, we'll do... I think I got five. I think I got five characters in there. So, Byleth just failed, so we'll have to wait till next week. Edelgard's already advanced. We can't advance Ferdinand yet. Bernadetta's advanced. Dorothea cannot be advanced either. Because we don't have the axe ability. And no one else with spears is there. Can't have her be a dark flyer either because we're not using magic with her. Petra. Petra can't be advanced either to a warlock class because she doesn't have good enough magic. So we'll need to focus on her magic there. Lysithia. Wyvern Rider. 100% chance. All right. Let's get our Lysithia on her dragon. Look at that. She's going to be powerful after this. Her strength should increase drastically here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Plus eight to her strength. Of course we're going to change. Of course we're going to change. Leone over here becoming a fortress knight. Let's see what happens with this. Speed decreases quite a bit. What is she currently at? 15 speed. Magic goes up. Defense goes up. Resistance goes up. Well, might as well give it a shot. I don't see why we shouldn't. All right, cool. Two passes and only one fail. Thank you very much, Byleth. Oh, the speed didn't go down. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right, what do we have here? Oh, we can't be a trickster yet. Not with... Not with Yuri. But I think Anna... Anna, on the other hand, she has a chance to pass. Now, I am going to be a little tricky here because those Abyssian passes, I don't think I can get any more of them. I could be wrong, but I'm going to err on the side of caution. And fingers crossed. Can we go three for four? 75%? Nice! Alright. So we got Anna as a trickster. We will change class. That is fantastic. So Anna as a trickster can now use magic. As well as excel in swords. Has a special ability called Lucky 7. Each turn I get plus 5 to a following, you know, one stat. Strength, magic, speed, defense, resistance, hit, or avoid. I also got Lock Touch and the Stealth makes it more difficult for her to be targeted, which is fantastic. So, I think that's all we can do. Yeah. I am going to switch Yuri over to Assassin. Perfect. I'm going to have him be an Assassin before we swap him over to Trickster. Just so we can do a bit more damage. And, ooh, okay. I think maybe a seminar. See who we can get in like a faith. We can get Yuri in faith. Should we? Let's, let's explore. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm going to flip a coin. Heads, we explore. Tails, we do a seminar. We don't need to battle anymore. We just had two magnificent battles. So, heads or tails? It is tails. What did I say tails was? Seminar? All right, we'll do a seminar. We will do sword and magic. A 
Okay. Yuri, so close, man. Violet learned recover. And their motivation increases. Alright. Now. Oh, we can try one more certification. Might as well, right? What's the worst that can happen? He fails again? Byleth, I was joking. I was joking. Come on, man. I was joking. Well, I think that's where we are going to call it for this episode. Again, this one I know is a bit on the shorter end. But with what Tuesday's episode being about 50 minutes long, almost an hour long, we are going to cut it here, especially since we do have the story mission coming up next where we investigate Remire. So, guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, again, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of this series has been so far. And until next time... Have yourselves a great day. Bye.